Hello everybody, it's the Black Car Guru. Mm, mm, mm. Back with another video and today we're going to be talking about the 4.6 2 valve. And is it worth modding? 4.62 valve was introduced in 1991 and has seen everything from the Panther platform to the old Mercury Krugers, all type of things. But in 96, however, that's when they first put it inside of the SCN 95 Mustang. Let's also not forget the late model F-150s, the Expeditions, and all type of things of that nature. The SCN 95 generation of Mustang GTs came from 96 to 98. But in 1999, Ford decided to give this thing a bump in power by giving it PI heads, aka performance improved heads. Not only that, but it came with a better camshaft, it came with a better intake, better throttle body. It basically had a better top end kit than the SCN 95 generation. This in turn bumped the 4.62 valve from 225 horsepower to 260 horsepower. It's important to note that the Crown Victorias from 2001 all the way to 2011 got the PI treatment also. So to put it quite simply, if you have a 96 to 98 Mustang, just simply do this. Take the heads off of a 99 to 04 Mustang GT, give it cam springs and retainers. Then throw a single turbo kit on it and give it eight to 10 pounds of boost. But this is where I, where I stop and try to talk some sense into you. Hear me, hear, hear what I'm saying. The 4.62 valve, not the three valve or the four valve, the two valve. These things take a hell of a lot of money to be talking about racing somebody. If you're trying to put some pep in these things, yeah, just do a PI head swap, PI intake swap, a bigger throttle body and throw some boost at it, yeah, but when you're talking about going against somebody, you need to consider Coyote swapping, because let me let me show you why. A top-end kit from Trick Flow costs $4,600 plus. Pro charges and super charges in general are going to run you six k to damn near 9 k Just follow what I'm saying. And forged internals. All of this is going to run you, if you're trying to build this to compete, you're going to come out of close to $20,000 or more. That's a lot of damn money to just be throwing away on a 4.62 valve. You better off sourcing out a Terminator Cobra engine. You can make close to 720 wheel horsepower on a stock Terminator Cobra engine. Bro, bro, for 20k plus dollars, you could literally build a Whipple Gen 3 Coyote. Throw it inside that SCN95 or Crown Victoria and whoop the shit out of everything. 